Today I want to show you how I built this very cheap and simple disc sander. The first thing I did was to route the shape of the disc out of a piece of plywood, um, cut off the corners on the bandsaw and then I finished it on the router table. Next I glued two pieces of plywood together for a mounting flange that will connect the motor to the disc. Note how I line up those two pieces using a small drill bit. I center the flange on the disc using a drill bit and then screw both together. This was actually my first test and you can see that there's a lot of vibration. That means that the disc needs some balancing. To do that I try to scrape the disc to a perfect circle I placed the disc on a little contraption out of a aluminium rod with a, a little steel ball on top of it. Now I detect the heavy spots by knocking on the table and watching which side would move down. Okay, so far so good. Now I made a really strong piece of plywood that will be my motor mount.
I need to make some space for the bolts that hold the motor together. The disc goes onto the motor just by a very tight friction fit. An RC plane propeller on the rear of the motor makes a really nice cooling airflow. And finally cutting the pieces that will hold the table and assembling it. The table is just a piece of white melamine. Now we are almost done. I built a housing around the motor, installed a shop vac connection and finally attached a switch for the electric wiring. I hope that you enjoyed my video, see you next time.